Hello, everyone. <clears throat> we are doing a car scent tutorial tonight. And I am just going to tag people until we get three on. Hopefully we get some friends to join us. person. I'm tagging people until we get to three so I can't see if you're here but let me know. I'm just gonna keep tagging away. I'm trying to find Tell more people that we're on. And I can check the sound. Oh, here we go. Let's see. Oh, yep, I can hear. Okay. Okay, so if you are here, let me know. We're waiting to get to three people on so I can get started on these car scents. If you're here, make sure you let me know by saying hi. It doesn't show me who's on. So say hi. Okay, we're at three. Oh, there we go. Hi, Anne. Hi, Leah. Hi, Rhonda. Okay, so we are making car scents. So what I did, I actually already have them baking. I mixed together these scented beads. I bought them on a D stash group. Um, these on Facebook because I, I just buy them there. Hey, Michelle. And the smell is called Wild Heart. It smells like laundry, clean laundry to me. Um, what I did was I took some medicine cups. I poured these blank into the molds to see how much, um, how many beads I need in each mold. And then I poured them back out into these cups and I added mica. I added mica, little micas just a little bit of mica to color the um, molds. So what I'm doing tonight is I am doing the mom Mother's Day mold. I am doing the watermelon, but I can't hear you. We're hanging out at a burger place. <laughs> okay. I, um, I'm doing the watermelon mold. That's a vent clip. I'm doing the cactus. I know I did that last week, but I want to redo it. And I am doing the sunflower mold. I know I did that one last time, but we're going to do it again because I want to do them again. They're so stinking cute. So the glitters that I'm going to use is chilling with my peeps, a uh, black, which is charcoal and queen silver. I mix together feather boa, tutti frutti, and then this one is not My Fair Lady. This one is called Softball Mom. I think that's the title of it on Puzzle Tumblers. And what we're gonna do is, these are gonna be done in seven minutes. What we're gonna do when they're done, we are going to decorate them. And then when they are all dried, I'm going to attach these vent clips. Now these vent clips, what you'll do is you attach them I just used epoxy because I had leftover epoxy. You could use whatever you want to use. And then you just put them right there in your vent. I have three in my car and they're so cute. And I'm obsessed with them. And my car smells great. <laughs> so they just literally pop right on. And when you turn your air on or your heat on or whatever, it like activates the scent. I mean, the scent is already activated, but it just like blows the scent right into your face. 
Um, and what I'm going to use to adhere the glitter is, sorry, I'm just putting everything in this box here. I am going to use Tulip Slick Paint for, I don't know why I grabbed blue. I literally grabbed all of my colors. I don't know why. Um, I'm going to use Tulip Slick Paint to adhere on my glue for my, what's it called? Glitter. So I've got green for Tutti Fruity. I have pink for Feather Boa. I have yellow for Softball Mom. I have black for my mix of Queens, Silver, and Charcoal. And then I have purple for chilling with my peeps. So I've got all those covered. Um, does anyone have any questions about car scents? Um, I also wanna adhere fringe to the mom one, but I cannot find glue. <laughs> So I'll be doing that off-site. Does anyone have any questions about about car scents, about how to make them? I feel like every time I do them, no one really asks a question, so that just means everyone already makes them, right? That's my assumption. If you're on here, do you make them? Everyone other than Rhonda, since Rhonda can't hear me. <laughs> I know a lot of people have all the supplies, they just haven't made them. And um, that's totally fine, but you need to start making them. I'm just waiting, my things have four minutes, so that's why I was thinking we could do like a little question and answer kind of thing. If anyone has questions? You guys are quiet. Is everyone ready for summer? I am. We literally have like four more weeks left of school. We have one more softball game on Saturday. That's me. I have all the supplies. Michelle, make them right now with me. Turn your oven on to 275. Low and slow. So turn your oven on to 275 right now. Let's make them together. I can help you. They're so easy to make. And they're fun to make. I'm not gonna lie. If I ever stopped doing cups, I would do car scents. And you know what's that stuck in my head? Last time we let the finger talk. A pool tournament. Whoa. Jeez Louise. You guys are multitaskers. Okay, we've got two minutes. So I put them in for at 275 degrees for 15 minutes. We're gonna take them out, we're gonna check them with a silicone spatula and see if they are done, which they should be done. It should not take longer than that. Might, it might not, we'll see. I probably could have baked them in the, this in them. I just didn't think about it. Actually, I did think about it and I'll tell you why I didn't. Because I'm gonna decorate them and I don't want to, I want it to be flat. <laughs> and if I put this on it, I won't be able to decorate them. All right, I'm gonna check these and see. Because you guys know I don't have any patience. Turn you so you can see. So, what I'm doing is I'm pushing it down to make sure it gets in all of the little lines and details of the mold to make 
decorating easier. So this one is done. You're hot. Hot, 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 hot. Let's see if this one is done. So those are done. I'm going to bring them over here. I have the window open, so maybe they'll cool off a little bit faster over here. Because I don't want to unmold them. I don't want to unmold them until they are completely cooled off. So I've got my window open here. I'm gonna let the cool air. So let me show you guys. Shoot, can't see. Let me move you back. So, if you can see, those are flat. When they come out of the oven before I press them, they literally look like this, but colored. Hey, Hillary. Hey, Crystal. So, when I pressed them down, it made them flat. And as you can see, like, if I move it around, it's still kind of is molding. And it's still, they're still hot. I don't want to unmold them until they are cooled off. How is the weather there? It is crazy. Oh, are you asking Rhonda? For me, it's perfect 70 degrees right now. Um, with these molds, you don't necessarily have to press down if you don't want to. However, when you press down, that's what gets you all the little details to help your decorating process. So I am sticking to one solid color for each, um, what's it called? Okay, so far I'm in Dallas area for a few more days. Um, I stuck to one color for each one because I just kind of wanted to keep it simple. Um, I've been trying to do like multiple colors and I just feel like I'm not at that level. so just be easier to do a solid color and do my details with glitter where I'm, I'm good at that <laughs> rather than trying to do it with the beads. I can't figure out the beads. I'm sure there's people out there that are really good at it, but I am not. All right. Let me take, I've made this one before, so I'm going to take this one out, lay it flat. I'll put that on. <laughs>
These came out really, really good. I'm just trying to keep them so they stay flat. And the shape stays. But these came out really good. Like, look at that. So you can see the design. So it's going to make it really, really, really easy to decorate. This is what the cheetah one looks like, or cheetah, um, cactus one. Here is the sample. Oh my gosh, I threw that one all the way over here. Here's the, hey Suzanne, here's the sunflower one. See how it has those lines? So see, pay, pressing down really pays off. Like look at the watermelon one. You can see all of the d design. So I am gonna actually start off with the mom one because it's somewhat cooled off. And I am just going to glitter the letters. <clears throat> so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tool paint. And I am just going to do a very thin layer on the letters very thin. And you don't have to glitter these. You could just leave it as the tulip slick paint. If you just wanted to have like a solid. And I know some people paint them before they, um, pour their beads in. I'm gonna have to mess around and do that. I've never done that before, so I don't know necessarily how to do that. Like I don't wanna do that on a live because I've never done it before. Even though you guys know I love doing new stuff during lives. Okay, so here's what it looks like with the slick paint, okay? Now I'm gonna add my glitter. Did you use your normal oven? Yes, I used my normal oven. Uh oh, I left my dog outside. Let me just go open the door real quick. Come on, buddy. I just used my regular oven. So there it is of glitter. See how it's super cute, super um this one's just gonna be a little basic Betty here. Okay. And this one, I'm actually going to make for someone special. They were watching, but they can't hear. And I'm going to attempt to do some lettering. So, 
Let's see if I can do it. The names are Robin. And So, see that? Keep missing the beginning. We'll need to watch the replay. Do you seal the glitter with anything? No, I do not seal the glitter with anything. But see how cute my writing is not that cute, but <laughs> that is cute. Look at you can add the names right in the middle. Okay. So that is one of them. Um, Amanda, do you have any, or sorry, Amanda, um, Suzanne, do you have any questions about the beginning? Because in the beginning, I just kind of stood here. Um, I did everything before I got on. So Okay. So for this one, I'm actually gonna leave the wa the watermelon. I'm actually gonna leave this part the same color because I love this color, and I'm going to just make this green, and then I'm gonna do the dots. So I am going to start with black. I have yet to make one. I need to start from square one. Bought the molds. Okay, do you have the beads? You need the scented beads. Bought the molds. That is all. Oh, okay. Well, we need to get the beads. And I will say they do, do look a little messy in the beginning before it's dried because you want to brush off all that extra glitter and it will brush off. Like in the morning, once these are dry, I can brush off the glitter. And they'll look at it soon. Okay, and then I'm using Tutti Fruity for the green part of the watermelon. O-M-G, look at how 
how cute those are. All right, I'm obsessed. That is, look at how cute that is. And then tomorrow I'll add this vent clip to the back. Oh my gosh. And you could do the scent watermelon would really obviously seal the deal. <laughs> All right. And since I've got the green out, I'm going to do my cactus. I'm just going to do the whole thing. Cause last time I tried, I did the outline and I, this time just want to do the whole thing. Cause I really like that green. And these vent ones, like this cactus one, since it doesn't really have much details on it to like decorate with, you could really just leave it as is. And it gets the point across, you know? Love the watermelon, thank you. I just need to sit down and make some. I get in my craft room and then draw a blank most days and end up watching videos or lives. Oh my gosh, I wish I could just sit and craft. Oh, look at that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, and then the last one we're gonna do is the sunflower. I am just gonna do the, why did I have the pink out? I think maybe I was gonna do the watermelon, but I actually really like the watermelon color, so. I don't know why I had the pink. But we are just gonna do the sunflower leaves. Look at the outline. No, I'll just do the whole thing. Okay. And there's our sunflower. So cute. These all three, I'm obsessed. But I'm mostly obsessed with the watermelon and cactus. I will show you guys these one more time. So there's the mom. It says, mom, you can put all the names. You could even print this out and like Mod Podge it on if you wanted, uh, if you don't like your writing. Here's the watermelon. There's the cactus. And there's our sun. Does anyone have any questions for me? Any 
anything you want me to do differently? No. Okay, well, everyone, these look great. I need some vent molds. Yes, you do. These vent molds are so stinking cute. And if you're like nervous about making car scents, it's a great way to start because they're not so big. They're super small. I actually really, really love this cactus and watermelon one that I am going to take pictures of them tomorrow and I'm going to post them for sale and I'm going to post them for wholesale and I'm going to see if they sell because these are so stinking cute. Um, so if you guys have any questions or comments or anything, let me know. My name is Katie. I'm from Wild Heart Shop. You can use that discount code on Puzzle Tumblers, Wild Heart Shop, H-A-R-T, at Puzzle Tumblers and You'll get a discount on all of the things that I use tonight. And I will see you next time I go live. Okay, bye.